movies that made us. Algorithm. <laughs> At the conclusion of an interesting article in The Economist, uh, like its copy was that uh, stars now in Hollywood, stars are not born, are not made, they are created by algorithm, because algorithms push something forward. Uh, they make all kinds of series, of course, so you, the audiences react, but then algorithms create the stars and uh, hits and so on. <coughs> and I was thinking here with algorithm, I watched um, Attack of the Hollywood Peaches and I liked it very much. So I was for the chance to put a tag on movies that made us a series with uh, uh, quite a few episodes. <clears throat> Alas, though they are interesting movies, uh, most of them such as um, um, Back to the Future, Pretty Woman. Some uh, uh, horror movies, I, had, I have a month on uh, Halloween. Movies that made us look how they made uh, the movie, the ideas, uh, problems, uh, Donald Pleasant's drinking too much, and so on. A shortage of pumpkins. <laughs> and, and that was interesting, but uh, I was hoping maybe in the next series they'll back up this. That they look at fundamental movies, let's say Godfather, Chinatown. True, on the other hand, I keep saying you can, and you should, if I was doing the movies, the classics, the movies that made us, to use their name, um, you can and should uh, read um, a bunch of things, screenplay, we don't call them, and we find out so much. Sure. Almost everything. <laughs> you need to know about movies. And the way they used to be made, at least now with algorithms and changing, making up for all the kinds of how the stars are affected and other things, and how they know that they're not six uh, competing for content by five studios plus Netflix now, there's on. more like 12. Apple, Amazon, Disney. Well, no, Disney was one of the studios in that past. So, the purchase of the screen for the first time. Last man, Terminal, much classic in some ways. Kid, the bridge too far, much more. And then, speaking of Godfather, um, the kid stays in the picture, Bob Evans. Bob Evans uh, is number two. Way <laughs> behind <laughs> because uh, he's bragging, he's uh, struggling, and it's clear that some most things in there have to be taken with uh, uh, a lot of thought. Uh, because um, braggadocio, clearly an alpha male, but then on the other hand, it's also true that um, there are some facts. So he was a producer, was an actor, producer, head of Parliament. And his producer, head of Parliament, was the one who gave us Godfather. And until the premiere, they didn't know the, the, the insight into what happened with the premiere. Kevin Kissinger came there and so many things related to Coppola. You can also find interviews on YouTube with him where he explained some of those things. Coppola, how they sabotaged Coppola on the set, and we had to take action. Uh, Chinatown, he, he, he brought uh, Polanski from, from Europe. He had seen uh, Night in the, in the Water and um, loved it, so he did. Chinatown with Polanski. One, also the top 10, top favorite, six, top 20 movies. Love so well, that was a hit on that. And as he says, in fact, it was number one. Uh, the book, number one in all the markets where it was number one. And I also remember that he was in love, never say I'm sorry, for something like that. 
patience. And I find both in book and the movie, if not lousy, but yeah, it's my bad. I, I don't see both. I don't see the attraction, the value of something. And Rosemary's Baby, among other things, he explains the plot. He was a participant with Great Gatsby, with the Red Fort. Of course, we have a, a newer version of Leonardo DiCaprio. But At this one, then not to look too well at that. Yeah. And he explains how he wanted Jack Nicholson. That he put Jack Nicholson discovered by him, that's what he says. On the stage at one point, and just as somebody bringing the tray with uh, studio, everybody was concentrated on the other fellow on the stage before this uh, audition. He said, I want him. Well, you know, he's busy, but we can... No, 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 I want Jack Nicholson, an unknown entity at the time. <laughs> Speaking of which, Al Pacino was also not, not known, you know. To the point where they were calling, I want Al Pacino. Who? Al Pacino, you better spell it. And then when they talk to another, to the agent, and they say, uh, you know, you, they talked and they want you to release him because he was doing something. How about you? Who? <laughs> Spell it. Nobody had any idea who Al Pacino was at the time of the making of the campaign. So, trying to return, yes, th this is how Coppola had something like a bet. If they passed the 50 million mark of the box office, and then he gets a Mercedes. And then he say what Mercedes? And then uh, not Bob Evans, but another producer, executive or something. He gets a call about from Mercedes America. Uh, you know, we have a Mr. Coppola and said well, this we should call him. Uh, because you know, it, 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 there are only three. Kind of one for the Pope and one for I don't know the Padi Shepherd, somebody, not Padi Shepherd, Emir of Oman, a rich fellow. Uh, and um, <laughs> to return, so this one is about coming to America. When I'm talking, uh, yes, uh, it's good, special. It was something with a. Uh, Almost 100% black team, so it was an exciting. That was a blank mark in a way. Uh, good, funny, uh, and the details are interesting sometimes, like how they made the dancing that the Paula Abdul was working on. It. Uh, luckily for everybody, it worked, and then she became a star because it, it, it looked like it might not. They, they fell on the floor because. There was some. The, the floor was slippery, as in made of know, porcelain, <laughs> something. Um, a fight, a fight between the director and then Eddie Murphy. And they have both uh, taken places. But in the meantime, the rapport changed. Eddie Murphy became the hottest star in Hollywood. Movies. Uh, he, again, read Adventures in the Street and you find uh, obnoxious uh, Dustin Hoffman would be Brad Fred, Al Pacino, and in interviews, uh, Gordon says that there are two splendid actors from. Uh, have this ego, this uh, thirst for, for homage, for adoration. And that's Clint Eastwood. And, uh, who was the other one? Paul Newman. Paul Newman. Please didn't care about this. 
circus, but they have this, they have this meaning. And in Murphy too, they have the meaning. And, and then at one point after this the fight, this, this physical clash, they would talk through, uh, if they wanted something, they would talk through the uncle. Uh, Eddie Murphy apparently at one point worked with a whole team of assistants, uncles. And, he wanted to say something to me, but he spoke to him. So, I think I'm going to 